Hey everybody, Ricky Timms here. It's the most wonderful time of the year and time for making memories that will last a lifetime. So let's get started making these kid-friendly Christmas stockings and make a treasure that will last for years. While all the instructions are in your pattern, sometimes it's just easier to see how it's put together. There are going to be several foundation units that you need to trace onto Ricky Tim's Stable Stuff. Stable Stuff is a non-woven tearaway stabilizer, but because it's primarily polyester, it can stay in your project forever. It makes a great foundation for paper piecing. Simply trace all of the shapes with all of the lines. Cut out each of the shapes. There are four shapes to make the stocking. We're going to be using charm squares for this project. Charm squares are five inch squares. Position your first fabric wrong side to the unprinted or the undrawn side of your paper. When you fold back on a line, trim with approximately a 3 16 inch cut. A bit of glue stick will hold that first fabric in place. I accidentally trimmed the toe section first. It's actually piece number two that I need to fold back and trim. But since I've already trimmed the other side, it won't be a problem. Mistakes like this are easy to make and easy to fix. Put your second piece right sides together and pin it along the line. When you flip out that piece, it should cover all of piece two plus extra. We're going to stitch now from the line that touches three to the line that touches four. You can backstitch at the start and the stop. And that's what I've done. Now when you flip over your piece, you can see that it completely covers the number two section. Now it's time to do a decorative stitch. And then after you've done that stitch, flip back the next one, trim off at a 3 16 inch, flip it back over, and now it's time for piece number three. Add piece number three, right sides up with the fabrics right sides together, pin, just so that you can flip it out and test to make sure that it's covering the next unit. And then backstitch, stitch all the way down and off. Flip it out, and each time you want to be sure that you add a decorative stitch. Then put on the last piece. It's going to fit nicely. Sew all the way across this time, flip it out, and then sew your decorative stitch. I chose to use the same decorative stitch on all of my units, but you can use a variety of stitches if you like. Now it's time to trim the unit. Trim all the fabrics to the exact size of your template. And there it is. Hey, everyone needs a little help every now and then, and it's more fun with friends. Now it's time to join all the units together. And when you do, open those seams and then stitch a decorative stitch along the seam. Notice that when the pieces go on top of each other, there's a little bunny ear sticking up at the top and the bottom. When you open it up, press again, open the seams, and do a decorative stitch on the front side. Now we have the whole piece completed, and that is the stocking minus the heel. The heel is the last piece to go on, and it has a little dot to show you where this seam comes right to match. You want to make sure that you've got the fabric oriented correctly, and if you're going to piece it, you will use all of the template. I've chosen to do applique, so I'm going to trim off the portion that actually sews on to the rest of the stocking. So that is my finished edge, but I'm going to leave the outside for seam allowance. Now I'm going to trim about a 3 16 of an inch away from the edge of this template on the side that I'm going to applique. Put a little bit of glue stick 
on the edge and fold the edge over so that it stays nice and secure while you sew. Now you can see it's going to fit perfectly in place. And you can see I've left my seam allowance, so trim that exactly. Now we're going to put it in place. You can secure it with a little bit of glue stick, and then we're going to stitch. I chose to use a buttonhole stitch or a blanket stitch for my heel. I also chose to use my setting at 3.5 wide and 3.5 long. I also could have done the blanket stitch on the toe. Lay your stocking onto a piece of batting. And now what we're going to do with a straight stitch, we're going to quilt the quilt. We're going to stitch on all of these lines so that it is all secured to the batting. There's where I stitched, and this is what it looks like on the back side. Trim away all the excess batting, and this will become your template for making your backing. So there's the back of your stocking. Here's the front of your stocking. This needs to be cut out wrong sides together. Now we need to cut out the lining. I like to do my lining with the wrong sides together, cutting both pieces out at the same time. This way, I've cut out both shapes and I have the mirror image, but they need to be put right sides together. So flip them over and put these two pieces right sides together. This will be the inside of your stocking. Now it's time to join the front of the stocking to the back of the stocking. Put them face to face, right sides together, and you're going to stitch from the top of the stocking all the way around the toe, around the heel, finish at the top, but don't sew across the top. Use a quarter inch seam and stitch the two sides together. You need to put notches along the deep curves and you need to snip along the outside curves. Be careful not to cut your threads. Now it's time to turn this to the right side. Make it nice and smooth. And your boot is done. Sew the lining the same way. Right sides together, starting at the top, going all the way around and finishing at the top. Clip your notches and snip around the toe. Insert the lining into the stocking. Align the seams and pin so that the lining is tucked down just a tiny bit below the top. Now we need to make the hanging loop. For the hanging loop, press it in half and then press the edges to that middle, fold it over and then stitch all along the edge. Fold it in half and tuck it down in the stocking right on the back of the stocking. Now we're going to stitch a little stitch to secure it and there you can see I've now sewn it in place now it's time for the fuzzy warm cuff. Cut out the shape six by 14 and three quarters. Fold it over 
and sew a half inch seam across the edge. Fold the cuff in half. and insert it into your stocking. Now you can use the same pins to pin everything together because once it's all in place, it's gonna be time to use a half inch seam and sew all the way around. When you're done, fold it over to the front side and this stocking is ready for a visit from jolly old Saint Nick. If you ask me, that's a whole lot of holiday cheer.